Well, this is a very long historical and personal article about the beginnings of the student movement, SNCC and SDS, and the, uh, the call for participatory democracy at the founding convention in 1960, uh, 62, in that period, just that two-year period. Participatory democracy is a jumbly phrase that came from the lips of uh, my philosophy professor at the University of Michigan, Arnold Kaufman, in a seminar. He was quoting John Dewey, who was an elder of SDS, uh, who had conceived of the idea that <clears throat> democracy should be broader than voting. It should include voting, but we should have democratic families, not dominated by the father from the top down. We should have democratic workplaces, democratic neighborhoods, not controlled by uh, developers. Uh, more democracy, not less, was the, the idea. And of course, before John Dewey, there were proponents of civil disobedience and direct action like Henry David Thoreau, who, who we knew had said, vote yes, but vote with your whole life, not with a simple strip of paper. So we took that to heart. And for, for us, th there wasn't a big conflict between direct action, sitting in at lunch counters, and registering black people to vote in the South because you could get killed or arrested or beaten for either. It was all direct action, but at least there was a framework. It was more than a tactic of sitting in and occupying someplace. The framework was to push for more space for the, the human development that was at the center and the social development that was at the center of what we called participatory democracy. I would make the argument that participatory democracy, if understood, can be, should be, will be the only framework for the development of progressive movements and politics in the U.S. That's worth salvaging.